Uh, today, during the AIG hearing, Representative Ron Paul declared the free market and capitalism weren't working. Watch this. We had a system where uh, the free market wasn't working. We didn't have capitalism. The allocation of capital came from uh, the direction of the Federal Reserve and a lot of rules and regulations by the uh, Congress. We had essentially no savings, and capital was supposed to come from savings, and we had artificially low interest rates. So looking at all that, then this means we'd have to look differently at what our solutions should be. So what should our solution be? Joining us now, Representative Ron Paul, Republican from Texas. Congressman, always great to talk to you, sir. Thank you. You made a really yeah. interesting point today, uh, Congressman. You know, you said that we're pointing a lot at uh, we're, we're, the, the victimization of this, but that we're not looking at the problem, the cause of all of this financial mess. If you could pick one cause that has gotten us here, what would you say it is? Easy money. The Federal Reserve artificially lowering interest rates, deceiving the people, the investors, the savers, into believing that there's a lot of savings out there and that we should invest more, build more houses, build more cars. It's a malinvestment, which is every bit as dangerous from inflation of the money supply as is the high prices that usually come. So I would say the artificially low interest rates is the real culprit, creates a bubble and the excessive spending and what have we done since the crisis has hit we're just doing more of the same we're deceiving everybody in the recovery period and that's why i'm predicting the recovery is going to be prolonged all right you know you had treasury secretary geithner in front of you today and, and ben bernanke you know the the week after we had all this outrage americans just furious at these bonuses at uh, aig do you feel that the treasury secretary and the fed chairman explained effectively to you their reasoning of why we got to this point we are with AIG and the bailout of the company? I, I don't think so. Maybe somebody else understood it better than I did, but I thought there was a lot of double talk going on. And besides, there's no easy, easy answer for this. I mean, we, the Congress, uh, you know, uh, appropriates all these huge sums of money without strings attached. And then when the public becomes knowledgeable of some easy bonuses and huge bonuses, you know, and then we have to scream and holler and be outraged. So I don't think we got to the bottom at all because the problem came from the initial bailout. So you can't tinker around and say, well, we're going to put a 90% tax on these bonuses and solve the problem with an unconstitutional move. That certainly won't solve the problem. And uh, we, we have to go back one step and say, why in the world did we appropriate that, that, that money? But what do we do? We just appropriate more and more money and turn up the spigots with the Federal Reserve and they have no obligation to tell us what they're doing. Well, then, then should we just be... Should we just be free markets then, Congressman? Should we just let AIG fail? They made the bed, they should lie in it, and they should fall apart in it as well? Yes, but there's a lot of things you could do to smooth things over. You might get rid of the income tax so people would have money to spend. Uh, you might deregulate the market and get, get away from crony capitalism. Yes, and the good assets would have been bought up by now. Uh, the bankruptcy would have been declared a lot sooner. The good assets would have been bought up and we, we'd have to go back to work again. You take a company like General Motors, you bail them out and prolong the agony and no bankruptcy. There's good parts of General Motors that would be bought up. And the sooner we buy that up and allow the market to allocate capital, the sooner we get back on our feet again. We can't make the assumption that only the politicians and the Federal Reserve can allocate capital. That is the crime that we have committed, and we have to change that attitude if we, have, if we want to solve our problems. Congressman Ron Paul from Texas. It's always great to talk to you, sir. Thank you for being on Fox Business once again. Thank you.